I need water. In Jesus' name, I need water. Oh, my God. You see when you try to talk about something important? Shalom and welcome back to our pack by Tina Cherie and welcome to Love Making 101. And this Love Making 101 is going to be entitled Cheating. And don't forget to check me out on the Death Wobble Podcast and to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's pray. Father God, we give you all the glory. We praise you and magnify you. And we thank you, sir. We thank you, sir, for everything you've done, everything you're doing, everything you will do. Lord, we love you. We ask that you forgive us of sins we've committed, knowingly and unknowingly, and we repent of sins committed by us and our ancestors, and for perpetuating those generational curses we are sent down here to break. Lord, I pray that you open our eyes, our ears, our hearts, our minds to receive the word that you would like us to hear today. Make me your personal conduit so I can say to your people what you want me to say. Me in the background, you in the foreground, this is about your glory. We thank you for the revelation, the confirmation, and the clarity in the name of Jesus. Amen. So turn with me, if you will, in your Bible to Proverbs 6, 32. Whew. He who commits adultery lacks sense, and he who does it destroys himself. Okay. My quote. I'm just going to warn you. Some of the stuff, it could just, it, 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 it could be triggering. But let, let me tell you, on my channel, I, I want to be transparent, and I, I want to be as open as I can. Although God's like, some stuff you're going to hold back. Okay? Okay. Just what it is. But the other stuff, it's like, yeah, I'll try to be as open and honest as I can be as the Holy Spirit leads me and tells me what I need to do. Okay. So we're going to turn, we're going to um, go over to Matthew 5 and 28. Okay. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Lustful intent. And we learn from Bishop Foreman, lust. It could just mean a strong desire for it, right? Now, you can have a strong desire for something good. Like, I really have a desire to eat right and be healthy. That is my desire. I that I really, 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 really just want to do that. Or a desire, I really, really, really just want God to use me for his kingdom. Like, that could be a lustful intent, but we're not talking about the lustful intent um, meaning anything positive or anything like that. We're talking about those negative ones, okay? Um, I'm going to say to you, some of you, Men or men or women. It can go either which way. Let's talk about it. Um and and even for me, I, I've noticed this. Um because I look the way that I look, um sometimes people like prejudge me before they even get to know me, before they have a conversation. They just look at me and they're like, mm mm, she trouble. In fact, that was like for the longest time my nickname, trouble. And it's like, I don't get it. Like, cause I'm like, I don't be causing trouble out here for anybody out here in these streets. But for the longest time, my, my nickname was trouble. Um, because I look this way. Um, and I tried, like, let me like not wear all the makeup and the hair weave and the eyelashes. Let me be natural. And that was still my, my nickname because I'm like, you can't hide your personality. You can't. Um, so oftentimes I don't really communicate as often I don't want to. I don't like to. <laughs> I feel like I'm done. I'm done. I don't. I don't want to communicate with members of the opposite sex. Okay? That's just my own personal. I just don't want to. So the few times I do, 
it's like the reception is like, oh my God, you're talking to me. Oh my God, now I'm gonna sleep with you. And it's like, number one, it takes two to tangle. So you may have that desire or you may want that, but doesn't mean that's what I want. <laughs> Some of you men out here in these streets are very delusional. I'm just going to say it. Some of you men are very delusional. You ain't bringing nothing to this table here. So therefore, like, why would you even think you have a shot in heaven, hell or earth? Like, no, that's not, no, no. And let me tell you, I'm on a whole nother trajectory, a whole nother level. And you just got to come. <laughs> I say it all the time. It's, but now I understand this is the honest to God truth. You have to come to the queen correct. Mm, you have to come to the queen correct. And just because you may want that or you have lustful intent in your heart. Mm, doesn't mean that's what I have in my heart. I be checking myself all the time. <laughs> Can I tell you? I check myself all the time because I don't want to have lustful intent in my heart at all. I don't because I don't want to be distracted from what God's will is for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. If it means I got to go look over here and off and to the left or to the right, then that's what I'm going to do. If it means I don't look directly at you or <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Neck up. Neck up. Let me tell you, it's the same way. It doesn't matter if you're a man, woman. All the time, you need to be talking to people in their eye. In their eye. Don't, I don't need your eye to be wandering down. Don't be looking. Don't, did you, don't, don't be looking. I'm gonna need you to look in the eye from the neck up. Neck up, that's it. That's it. Cause the, ooh, the devil's a liar and he be trying to, ooh, shiny, ooh, shiny. No, it is not for you, ma'am. So don't do it in these streets, my gold. But anyway, but let me tell you this. So, when I looked in dictionary.com, what lacking sense meant, it meant destitute or deprived of sen sensation, unconscious, lacking appreciation or comprehension. So, with that being said, so if we are lacking in sense, the appreciation and the comprehension, does that mean we're already committing adultery? Because there is a lack of clarity. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we just pray, Lord, that you give us the clarity that we need to be able to fulfill what you have commanded for us to fulfill. Your word says it will not return back to you empty, but that it will accomplish what it was sent out here to do and it will be successful. That is Isaiah 55 and 11. God, we just pray that you make those things work for us and that you cause all those things to work together. My God. For you knew the plans that you had for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us in the name of Jesus. Even before we were formed in our mother's womb, Jeremiah 29, 11, we knew this thing. Lord, your word, your word tells us all these things. My God, what is something else God's word tells us all the time? I believe it's Galatians 6 and 9. For do not become weary in doing good. For if we do not become weary and we hold fast, that we'll reap a harvest if we do not give up. If we continue on, we'll reap our harvest, my gold. That is what your word says, God. That is what your word says, God. God, we ask for the clarity that we need, my gold. Some of you been out here confused. I pray that this week brings you clarity, brings you your focus back. Mm. I know you saw something that was shiny and you, 
but I'm gonna need you to stay focused. We've talked about this. Keep your eyes straight ahead and keep it focused on your intended target. Bring it back, bring it back. Yes, that thing is nice to look at, but right now God wants you to remain focused. He says, you need to build my house before you can even build your house. Build my house, my gold. That is what he's talking about. You need to get prepared out in this field here. My God, you need to get prepared but my God, before, before there's things that need to happen before that thing, that shiny thing that you looking at, there's things that need to happen before that can happen. And right now, I just pray that you are focused on that, my God, that you have the clarity that you need right now, my God. And that you are not committing adultery. And that you are not cheating in these streets. My God. Because when you're cheating, you're cheating yourself. My God, of your destiny, of your future, of what God has commanded for you. You're cheating yourself. You're robbing yourself of living the life fulfilled that God has promised you. Of living your dreams my God, do not cheat yourself. Yes, it's shiny. Yes, it's amazing. Yes, it's nice to look at. But I'm going to need you to stay focused on what God wants you to do. And that's to build. Okay, I'm going to link in the description. <laughs> One of the life-giving messages from Bishop Kevin Foreman and Harvest Church. It will bless you. It will inspire you. It will change your life. And thank you so much. This is such an honor. And shalom.